Hello, we're good YouTube. Today I got a video. I'm gonna be removing the badge off my Chrysler 300, the back badge. And we finna go get what I need right now from Walmart. You're gonna need some Goo Gone, some floss or fishing line, either one of those, and a heat gun, whatever that is. Uh, I ain't never did this before. So if I can do it, you can do it on uh, your car. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this today because I need the heat gun plugged in. I live in apartments, you know, my, my room way over there. I don't know if I got an extension cord long enough. Uh, but if not, I'm just do it tomorrow. So uh, let's get it. All right, so I got everything I need. Number one thing is a heat gun. This is what I got. This thing, $25. I'm going to return it after. I don't care. But um, yeah, this is basically to heat up the metal and the glue and stuff so you can get off the emblem. And then, once you get off the emblem, you need some goo gone so you can remove the glue and adhesive, everything that's left behind. But like I said, I'm at an apartment, like I ain't got no extension cord with me or nothing like that. So, I don't know when I'm finna do this. So i see you when I do it. All right, so the audio cut out on this because my finger was over the mic. But basically when you want to start, go ahead, plug in your heat gun and heat up around the emblem. I guess you're heating up the plastic metal on your car or the glue. I, I don't know what you're heating up, honestly, but I see other people do it, so I'm doing it. And don't keep it in one spot too long, but just go ahead, heat it up, and then we'll get to the second part. Then what you wanna do, go ahead and take you some floss or a string, fishing line, anything like that. Go ahead, put it on the edge of the emblem, and then in the sawing motion, go ahead and start pulling it off. Over halfway done, so shouldn't be much longer. I'm so close. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, pull that off. My fingers is dirty. So now all I got left is this glue or stick uh, tape, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead, take some goo gone, and spray it on there. All right, so me realizing this afterwards, I wouldn't spray the goo gone on there until you get the tape completely off because the goo gone makes your fingers slippery and you're not gonna, it's gonna be so hard to pull that tape off. If I was you, I would wait until after you get that off to spray the goo gone. The one in the front, I might take it off or I might wrap it black. I don't know though, I might wrap this black too. But, hey look, I don't even know what I'm doing for real. I'm gonna heat it up some more and then try to remove it. And this goo gone come with a little top. It look like a little scraper. I don't know if that's what it's for, but that's what I'm gonna use it for, a little scraper off. Let's see if I can scrape this off. You like that pink uh, hair bow? Yeah. All right, so I got most of it off, all the sticker part or tape, whatever. Now it's just like the leftover residue. And that's what this goo gone is for. So we're gonna spray it on there. And just let it sit for a few minutes. I'm gonna go inside. Cause this this is very tiring. But from let it sit, I guess come back and rub it off. I don't really know. We'll find out when I get back out here. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it or if the camera even does it any justice, but this side you can see is less stuff here. So what I did was spray this in there, spray this on there, walked inside, waited a few minutes, got some rags or paper towels, whatever this is, and just started scrubbing it. And uh yeah, so I'm finna spray some more on there, go back inside, come back out, do the same thing. I only waited like three minutes. Uh in the video they're saying you were supposed to wait ten. I ain't got time for that. If I'm finna try and do it as fast as possible. I just pulled up to the 24 hour car wash. Finna wash my car and we finna see how it look after you if it hear me. All right, so as you can see, it's barely any residue left, but it's still there. I watched the video on how to fix it, so I'm gonna fix that. 
from a distance you cannot see that at all all right, to remove that last little bit, I looked it up. It's called ghost lettering. So if you want to search it up, go ahead and type in how to remove ghost lettering from your vehicle. You basically use the products and it's going to end up looking like this. You wash that off, wait a little bit, and it's going to be gone. I might throw a picture of me when I'm completely done. I don't know yet if I feel like it, but just know it's like nothing there now.